Let's go. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Maddie, and I'm here with another video. So in today's video, you guys can see I have my 1993 van with me. We are going to be doing a van tour, which I'm so excited for. You guys have requested on this channel for a year now for me to do a van tour. So today's video is gonna be exactly that. You guys are gonna be able to come along in my house and see my van. So let's go. Okay guys, so first things first, we're gonna start with the kitchen. It's very small, but it's doable. This is my counter spot. I don't have much counter space. This is the sink for me to wash my dishes in. Sometimes I will wash my hands in it, but it's not the cleanest water, so I never drink from it. We have a two by two stove top, which is very handy. I never use it. I'll admit that I'm just kind of lazy with filling propane, so I usually use my microwave if I am plugged up to a 30 amp. But here is the microwave. We have a little microwave here. It is pretty small. I have my plates up here. I can show you guys. I have mugs for all my coffee. I have the forks, the bowls, the plastic stuff because we love plastic. For anytime I am cooking and it starts to smoke or anything, I just turn my vent on and then it can go up from there. This is kind of like my fire drawer. Anytime I'm doing fires, I have a lighter in here with some fire starters as well. And in the back, I just have like cotton balls and little things to start fires with. Okay guys, so this is our mini fridge in the van. It came in very handy while I was on the road and it still comes in handy. I actually still put my vitamins in there because it does get a little hot in the van sometimes. So it's got a little safety knob on it and then you can just open it up. And you guys can see I have my medicines up here, my food down there, and then I have some more food in the corner back here. And it comes with a little department that's a fridge. So guys, now I wanna talk about down here. It is actually the floor in me my dad installed. In that one video, you guys can see, my dad did it in like two hours. This beautiful bamboo flooring, it is actually like really expensive, but it's waterproof, shockproof, and it'll last a lifetime, it says. Then I have this pretty little carpet covering the flooring in the winter time. I never have this rug here when it is summer because I don't want to be even hotter than I am. But right now, since it is like usually 20 to 30 degrees outside, I'm keeping a carpet down so it can keep me nice and warm. And I always have my slippers on because my slippers are what keeps me warm in the van. Then also while I'm down here, I'm going to show you guys that we have this little compartment down here. It's got my sleeping bag under here and then a folding table I get out when I'm doing schoolwork or when I'm doing editing on a video. If you watched the original video, you guys can, would know that there's also a furnace down here that can pump out heat, but because of some issues I'm having with the generator and propane. I am no longer allowed to do that. So right now I am relying fully on my stand-up plug-in heater, which can only be used when the van is plugged up to an outlet. Okay guys, so now we have moved back to the bedroom. You guys can see there's such a big distance between the kitchen and the bedroom. Not really, but I kind of like it like that because I can take my pills at night, drink a bunch of water, and then go straight to the bedroom. It is a queen size bed, and it is actually very large, I would say, for a camper. And it is the biggest thing in the van versus the bathroom, the kitchen, everywhere. It is the thing that takes up the most space in the van, but I love it because my bed is somewhere I go to rest. And as you can tell, as a van lifer, you don't have much time in your van. It's usually just at night when you're going to sleep. And then in the daytime, you want to be out and hiking and adventuring. The van was made with a blue tint to every wall and every curtain. So I just thought instead of changing out the whole van, trying to change out the carpet, the curtains and everything, we would just complement it. So what we did instead of doing a completely different color was we just embraced the blue and brought in some whites with it and some tills. So now you guys can see we have a nice little white and blue concept going on in here and I really like it because it gives off a very clean look. At night when I'm usually back there sleeping, I will open up this privacy door and have it open so that way when I'm sleeping, nobody can look in the windows if I don't feel like shutting all the curtains and it's a really nice touch to the van. So I also decided to put this mirror right here next to the bedroom so in the morning when I wake up or if I'm brushing my teeth trying to take off my makeup, 
I can just simply look over, have the mirror, get ready, brush my teeth, whatever I need to do, it gets the job done. So this mirror was literally $5 at Walmart and I love it because it's lightweight and if it falls and breaks, which I've already had three do that, <laughs> I just buy another one. Now I think they're like $8, but it's like not a worry, you know, it's not a very heavy mirror and it's bendy too. Okay, so you guys can see just for a fact how big this place is. It is very big back here and I have so much room. We have a window on the left, a window on the right, and a window behind me. So it's amazing for in the summertime when I want to have all the windows open and I can see outside. But in the winter right now, I am paying the price for having so many windows back here. This is the coldest spot of the van, I believe. I'm going to talk about how the bed actually folds into two couches that you can have. It's sort of like a futon. You can have a couch over here, a couch over there, and then a table right here. But of course, because I haven't done that in like a whole year, I didn't get it set up today because I want to keep this van tour very realistic. I decided to go with a like creamy quilt to really bring out the brightness in here and then complement the pillows as well. So above me are a few things that you must know of. This is the AC unit. This is my camera storage cabinet and my hiking bags, drone. So much is in this cabinet but I do like to say that these cabinets are the most sturdy back here, so that's why I keep the most expensive stuff in these cabinets. Then I also have this cabinet, which is sort of like a uh, junk cabinet, I guess you could say. We have just like microphones, we have boxes we need to ship out. <laughs> There's a lot of crap in here I don't want you guys to see, so yeah. So moving up from the bed, we have my closet right here. This is my main closet for clothes. It looks like a lot's going on, but it's organized chaos, I promise. We have the active wear down here. We have all my underclothes, tons of underwear. You guys can never have enough underwear in a van because you don't know where the next laundry mat is. Then we have the long sleeve coats and shirts for the winter. We have all the short sleeves and shorts for the summer. And then up here I have all my bulky sweaters to keep really warm on those days where it is freezing out here. I also have my belts over here. I've only got like four belts, so it's not a lot. Then we also have over here, which is another closed drawer. We have some jeans up here. We have some more bulky long sleeve shirts and sweaters. Then we have some work uniforms over here. And this is a part of the kitchen as well, I guess you could say. It is my dish rags down here. And then we have some miscellaneous items down here like coffee and some food items as well. It's, these two drawers really help out the van and help me with space so I can have place to put my clothes and it actually makes the van so much better. So I also have a closet up here which is like my walk-in closet and this is the walk-in closet I was telling you guys about. You guys can see it goes almost all the way up to my head all the way down to here. This is a pretty long cabinet. We actually have tons of jackets. We have the heavy thick jackets. We have some fancy dresses. We have some light jackets and then some more heavier jackets. Shout out to my boyfriend who bought me this jacket for Christmas. I love it. Anyway, but this is a really nice cabinet and it also has some miscellaneous items like my yoga mat. I also have my skateboard in here. So this is a pretty compromised cabinet. It doesn't look big, but it goes all the way back there. So it's pretty big. Over here, it is a little tight back here, guys, but you guys can see that I have my books. We have the National Geographic State Parks Guide, which was amazing on the road, actually. It showed me a lot of cool places to go to. When I was on the road, I have my Bible. I have some school books back here, some notebooks. I have a fire extinguisher up here. This is the test lining. So you guys can see what the holding tank is holding, what the gray tank is holding, the fresh water tank, and then the battery on the van. This is our pump. You guys can hear when I flip on the switch, the pump cuts on, and then when I flip the switch off, it completely cuts off. Over here is kind of random. I just have a hat collection, and then I also keep my sock bin up here. Actually, I had a map in here I took out, and I was like, oh my gosh, I love this container. It can be used for something, so I put my socks in here, and now you can see I have all my socks in here, which is very nice because I can just tuck it back here, and it can be something I forget about. This is the driver's seat. It's very comfy. I also have a cushion underneath here in case you're driving for like 12 hours. It does get hard. So I put a little cushion under here. We have the steering wheel. We also have this area over here where it is the turning single, the lights, the radio, the heat and the AC down here. It doesn't work the greatest, but the heat is amazing. The AC doesn't ever work. 
these curtains that just come over you guys can see it can be complete privacy in here you just need to close the curtains these are the original blue curtains that came with the van I decided to keep them since it is so incredibly expensive to change them and like I said earlier we're just gonna embrace the blue so these are a really nice touch I keep my main trash can right back here this is the trash. This back here is all my maps and I do have my passports and other very important valuable things back here. So this is tucked away behind the driver's seat and it is an important compartment of the van. This dog house right here gets extremely hot when I am driving so this cushion protects me. But these rips right here sometimes I'll lean my knee over it and I'll forget and I will burn myself but this gets extremely hot when I'm driving especially up mountains when it's overheating the van is which it's Known for overheating so it's a little rough with that so the passenger seat is currently really busy looking right now uh, but I am going on a ski trip tonight so all my ski stuff is out I know it looks like a mess but it's organized chaos we have my shampoo and dirty clothes bag right here we have my snow boots my suitcase and then I have a couple pairs of shoes down there up here is our fishing poles and map we have like the glacier state park map here and then we also have like Yellowstone map I have from when I went to Yellowstone but yeah all right so this is the bathroom right here a lot of people laugh when I say it's the bathroom they're like how is that a bathroom but it is we have our toilet paper rack to hold our toilet paper we have the instructions how to clean the toilet because I still need instructions because I still forget um, we have a little light in here, which I don't don't currently have on because it needs batteries We have this little compartment too that holds my hairbrushes my makeup wipes my tweezers and a mirror for getting ready This is all fake tiling guys. It looks real, but it is paper down here We have the little toilet seat and then we have some towels washcloths and my purple shampoo leaked out the other day And I haven't cleaned it up yet. We have my creams my toothbrushes everything that I usually get ready with my shaving and this stuff has been amazing anti-cellulite my mom got it for me for Christmas and it actually works really well it makes your skin super smooth flat irons hair supplies q-tips everything in a bathroom is up here in this little itty bitty spot and it's actually great space okay guys that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for coming and watching I hope you guys enjoyed today's van tour it was a lot of fun making this video I had to do a deep clean of the van because life gets ahead of you sometimes but it was a lot of fun and I enjoyed showing you guys my beautiful creativity I put into designing the van and making it my little home and my happy place. What did you guys think of today's van tour? Leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe because guys, we are almost at 10,000 subscribers. I'm so excited and I know we can get there before the end of the year. So hit that subscribe button and I would really appreciate it. Also guys, I am making shorts now, so if you would like to see some shorts I upload daily or weekly, go over to the shorts tab or my page and you guys can see my videos there. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!